Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jeanette. I'm the blogger behind eleganceofshade.com. But if you have come back, welcome back. Thank you for those who have subscribed as well. In today's video, we're going to do um, a first impressions and favorites kind of video. So in these videos, I buy products. If I like them, I feature them on my YouTube channel or my Instagram page, which of course I left linked down below. Sorry for that noise. That was my Instagram going off. But anyway, I'm going to run along. Um, so this it cut features some skincare, makeup, home care, anything like that that I come across. This uh, no PRs are sending me gifts, and if I do, I'm still going to be up most honest with you. Um, I love just trying new products. I love buying new things, new like new products, trying them out, telling, seeing the differences, seeing what's good, what's not, what I like. So I'm that type of person. I'm very curious by nature. So. Um, yeah, therefore I feel like I deserve to do, do videos on this. <laughs> so um, yeah, before we go any further, um, just don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media links which I left down below. But um, let's get to the video. Next videos I generally do like a little, um, well I've been putting like a screenshot kind of thing so you'll see me trying them on, giving textures and sort of stuff so you can see what they're like. If they're small, I'll show you close up anyway. But um, it is. I did mention this in my last one, last video, a sunscreen on face moisturizer I've been using. So SPF, when they're in our skincare, no matter how the weather is, we still need it. Wind still burns your face, like you still need some sort of SPF covering the face, at least minimum 30, I find. Um, and generally you reply, that's something that I'm working on, I'm looking into products for that. But in regards to actual skincare, I would, I would prefer an SPF as opposed to a moisturizer. So, um, but in this case, I'm using the um, finished nearly like but up to there. And then TA Day Defense Facial Moisturizer SPF 50, not greasy at all. It's actually very mattifying. So, um, I know a lot of sunscreens can be really greasy looking, and I don't like that look, on, especially with makeup. I'm not, you know, once I put it on. But with this, it doesn't feel that way. It actually feels like you're not putting anything on at all. You don't need to put on about a 10 set piece, I'd say. So just put it on and it actually looks like you haven't put any on. So it's actually really nice, Not doesn't smell in an awful way. Really like, back there's no scent. So I don't remember, but some sunscreens smell really ridiculous. But um, this is for all skin types. We've got vitamin E and aloe vera, um, which is obviously very nice for dry skin. Um, I actually picked this up in error because I thought I had, I was using another one. I think it's called an ATO Ageless range but I ended up picking this by accident not realizing it's actually a day moisturizer as well so it's win-win for those that can be bothered buying two products so I do still mix this up with um, other skincare so like if I want to get a bit creative because like I'm trying out a day, day cream I mix that with this and I do that a lot of the times as well um, it is high UVA UVB protection so obviously UV rays and the, um, that, that is because of the blue lights so on your phone as well so this is actually really good and because it's Australian as well and it's actually available from Dover Jones, Maya, Priceline and I believe Chemist Warehouse. So there's a lot of places that it's available from so don't feel like you can actually miss out on anything. It's really worth buying the ATO. I've, I've used a lot of their skin kits, um, especially the, uh, what was it? The pink one rose water I think was a night gel. So nice, really nice and moisturizing. My skin felt really soft the next day. So if you're into like um, skin care, you don't want to spend so much because your budget's quite low which you can understand definitely the best going to that. The next product, um, the Royal Dalton Aroma Reads Fresh Linen. This is, you know when you wash your sheets when you spring's coming, this is what that smells like. It reminds me of that too. You know those commercials where the, sh the white sheets are flowing in the wind, well this will be it. This is the sense for it. This is beautiful. I'll put this in my bathroom. I don't actually change, I don't know if most of you know, um, I used to cut the reeds, but you actually could just twist them around. I think Royal Dalton have bring, the, bring these aroma reeds out and they're really beautiful. And that's actually lasting me for about eight months, I'd say, because it's last more than what these, but oh, they're available from um, DFA Essendon. The Royal Dalton, uh, any Royal Dalton um, store. So it's really beautiful. I did buy another brand as well. I think I might feature that in my next video. Um, yeah, so definitely worth getting to. So if you're really someone that goes, it's all about the home having a nice, beautiful scent and coming into spring weather, you lucky like things, well then I recommend getting the Royal Dalton scent range. Next up, you have to say Black Opium. This is my new go to scent. Uh, Move over, see JJ Money. This is it. I love Sea Still, I can't deny that. But this is still beautiful, very musky, but a nice musky. Because you know, some that really like 
out date kind of thing, you know, when they're a bit like the older scented, they smell quite like like they're out of date. This doesn't smell like that at all. So it's very musky, but it's got a bit of thorough in it, which is a great great mix. So if you're someone that I've met it doesn't really like musky kind of smells, this is probably perfect. Um, that kind of ma that kind of masks it. <laughs> Bad trust words today. Um, it kind of masks it and smells really pretty. I really like it. Long lasting, lasts well. It's other puffer, so um, you don't have to worry about applying to applying too much. So it is other puffer, um, and it's a beautiful bottle. Of course, very instagrammable. I did take a photo of this on my Instagram. Everyone's gone wild about how beautiful it is. It is. It is. But if you wanted to know exactly how it smells, if anyone knows from Glasshouse Candles, they have a scent called Melbourne. It was limited edition for Melbourne, obviously. It was black, beautiful. It smells exactly the same. So if you're well aware of what that smells like, this is what this smells like. So I found it's perfume and it's black perfume. Also, it is quite edgy. So if you don't want something too sweet and too floral, this is probably perfect. A bit more sophisticated, which I like. Next up, we all know my little AirPods, but um, I'll put a case. I actually got this from Kmart. It was 10 bucks. Last a while, my AirPods are now safe, so I just want to show you. It is quite easy to take off, I swear. So, um, that's how small that is, but obviously it protects it quite well. I've dropped these a few times, and um, yeah, it's been well since. Um, yeah, so it's quite easy. Put it in and just put that tight together. That's it. It was like ten dollars, real cheap silicone cover. I think I mentioned I mentioned this in my last video actually, so I'll link my playlist down below. Um yeah, so perfect, real cute, and I got red, I think I'm red, baby pink, and grey, so I got the red one, so the red one, I have a colour. Next ones are just makeup, um, I've been getting into makeup a lot lately, but I just wanted to show you the Revlon, it's new, Can Candid Glow Photo Ready in shade, 120 buff, shammy, 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 um, very nice, I actually really like this, very hydrating and very glowy. So if you have to like, but if you have to add a tint, like a light, light tint, light um, formulation, because it is light coverage, um, really good, and it brightens up my skin. I'm actually wearing it right now with my deep moisturizer from Dove. So I've mixed them together, and it gives me that look, dewy look, real fresh. Like I've had ten hours sleep and I've gone into a Haitian, you know, beauty, uh, holiday, which I haven't. Obviously, I've only gone to my backyard today, but um, yeah. So it's very. Um, very hydrating it feels like and it, my skin feels a lot it looks like a lot, a lot glowy too which is what it, really the reason why I bought it and it's actually a good dupe for a lot of the big high end brands that say that they're all about the dewiness and everything like that but I do want to glow like I do want that glow factor I just don't want um, full shine just subtle and yeah not too overpowering really nice and light obviously light coverage it does come in, in higher a medium coverage I believe but um, this is not it, but this is really nice. So if you're coming into spring and you want something nice and light, then you recommend the Revlon Candy Glow Feather Ready in 120. That's the shade I've got. I really like that one. So I believe this will have to edition. But I just want to show you the YSL, the Slim Collector Couture Studs Rouge Couture in shade 11 Ambitious Beige. This is really pretty. I've got this on actually. Very beautiful packaging, obviously, but not here for the packaging. <laughs> the, the, yeah, it's a beautiful shade, really nice, long lasting, um, not drying at all. Um, easy to come off when I wash it off with the, like a balm or something. Um, but easy to stay on. It stays on actually, so it does really well. Obviously, when you drink, it does come off a little bit, but apart from that, they're good. They're not drying anyway. So um, I don't like like a lot of shiny lip kind of products. So. I definitely like these ones. And that includes, I've got the slim version for, also the slim, in shade 13, which is a nice red. Um, as you can see, very pretty, um, really bright, which I love bright red. I love red, really, in general. But um, Luxe packaging, really nice hydrating. With the, sh with the angle it is, it actually is really hard to make an error, which I'm quite sure, given I do my lipstick. But yeah, really nice, really like them. And the last lipstick that I wanted to talk to you about was the Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet in shade 401. So obviously the packaging is ultra luxe, but the Dover applicator is really cute and really easy to glide on. Really nice, it actually lasts a really long time in comparison to the YSL. We're going to compete and they're not the same product. Um, not the same formulation, They this does last a long time. So um, really nice 
pigmentation really nice on the lips not drying in any way but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media as i upload every week and also have you had the chance to try any of these products comment down below i'd love to see you back here again and yeah i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye